ASMR gaming news, please hit that like button, sit back, relax, and let's begin. So, uh, it's been kind of a slow news week, but we still have a decent amount of news to cover, so first piece of news is for The Legend of Zelda. So there was a rumor this week that started about um, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword being remastered and ported to the Nintendo Switch. So basically what happened was A.E.G. Aonuma, the creator and director behind many of the recent uh, Legend of Zelda games was uh, caught by fans after a Zelda concert, I believe, saying something like, wow, this music was amazing. Wouldn't it be great if they made a Nintendo Switch version of Zelda The Skyward Sword? So a lot of people took that as meaning that there is possibly a game in the works for the Nintendo Switch. So a lot of news websites and game sites started talking about this earlier this week. But uh, as of yesterday, it then came out that this was all just, or actually, I think it was a day before yesterday, but still, uh, later this week, it was revealed that this is just a rumor uh, a lot of game journalists asked Nintendo if they are planning on making a Skyward Sword game, and Nintendo's official response is that there currently are no plans and there's nothing to announce in development. So, uh, it was a rumor, and then it was basically proven to be false, but this isn't the first time that Nintendo has claimed a game wasn't in development when it in fact was uh, back when the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask was getting a 3DS port. Uh, Nintendo went on to say that that was not going to happen and then it actually did happen. So I'm gonna go with A.G. Onuma. He probably knows something that we don't. So. We're possibly going to get a reveal trailer next year or something, an announcement. So that'll be nice. Uh, Skyward Sword is a very divided game. Like, people have opinions, both, you know, positive and negative about it. It came out on the Nintendo Wii, and a lot of people either loved or hated the motion controls. Some people liked it, and some people absolutely hated it, so it would be nice to see this game have like a second chance of pleasing the fans uh, if they came out with like a Nintendo Switch version which fixed or gave extra control options of some kind. But uh, yeah, next piece of news, Red Dead Online launched this week. Um, so if you have Red Dead Redemption 2, you're able to partake in the multiplayer now with uh, Red Dead Online. A lot of people have given impressions, there's videos on YouTube, reviews, all sorts of things. A uh, general reaction that I've seen is a lot of people comparing it to how GTA Online kind of works, like they kind of brought that same system engine over to Red Dead Online. And apparently there are a ton, and I mean a ton of glitches that people are finding, which is completely fair since this is the first week of the online portion of the game. But still, if you type in uh, Red Dead Online glitches into YouTube, there's already like compilation videos of people like falling through stuff and NPCs randomly randomly spawning into horses and things like that. Like it's pretty funny. But uh, yeah, this was the mode that was 
you know, highly anticipated back when Red Dead Redemption 2 was first announced. Uh, Rockstar has a lot of plans for this mode. Um, so, you know, even though right now it's currently having some problems, Rockstar is going to continue updating this and hopefully they make it really awesome because I know people are actually having fun with Red Dead Online. So, it's nice to hear that people are enjoying the launch this week. So, let me know in the comments what your experiences are with Red Dead Online. Next, we have some news for Battlefield 5. So, Battlefield 5 came out. Uh, it got, like, some updates and reviews. And let's just say that recently, like this past week, some news has leaked out, apparently, certain people over at the company, you know, DICE and EA, are not pleased with the initial sales of Battlefield 5. Uh, apparently they were expecting higher sales on launch day or the launch week of the game. So some sales did not meet expectations. And additionally, some fans are taking this kind of bad. Uh, the game in a lot of stores is already 50% off or 30% off and the game just came out so part of this is due to the holiday season you know we just had Black Friday last week Cyber Monday sales uh, lots of games game stores and online shops have sales on video games so it's completely normal for even new games to get put down in price but a lot of people are saying this is a permanent price drop and that Activision, I mean EA, why did I just say Activision? Activision is Call of Duty. Uh, EA and DICE um, are going to try to like increase the player base before Christmas hoping to get people to pick up the game but honestly I heard very good things from Battlefield 5 uh, from people that I know that are playing it so I find it kind of strange that it did not meet uh, sales expectations and that apparently this price drop that is currently going on is a permanent one. Um, I've seen like, I think I saw the game for like $39 at Best Buy, uh, Walmart, Amazon, lots of these, these uh, shops have the game for pretty cheap right now and for a game that just came out it is kind of weird but a lot of their games are on sale, including Spider-Man and Red Dead Redemption 2, and that does not necessarily mean that the game is doing badly, but the fact that EA actually had some people come out and say that the game did not sell or sell as well as they thought it would is kind of strange, so hopefully this is not the end of the Battlefield series, but uh, Battlefront did very badly when it came out, especially Battlefront 2. EA did not like all the backlash with the microtransactions, so I think they're really going to try to make Battlefield 5 a success if they can still do that. I don't know. And now let's get over to some Fortnite news. So um, Epic Games came out to say that Fortnite has over... 200 million registered users. So, 200 million people signed up for Fortnite. Now, just to put that into perspective, uh, 200 million people is like one-fifth of a billion people. And there are only a few billion people on this planet, so... <laughs> 200 million people playing Fortnite is a lot of people. That's like entire countries worth of people playing Fortnite. So that is insane. Uh, I can completely see why this is one of the biggest games right now. And I'm sure Epic is very, very happy with these uh, new numbers. And we also have some other Fortnite news. Uh, Epic Games recently added the 
requested for a very long time feature that they, you know, it was actually in the game. You could, you just couldn't use it, but Epic finally decided to add the gifting option in Fortnite Battle Royale. So essentially, if you have a skin or pickaxe or emote that you want to buy for a friend as a gift, you can now go over to the item shop in Fortnite, buy the skin with V-Bucks, select a friend, and then send the gift to them. So this is really nice. Um, absolutely love this feature. It's a really good addition to the game, and I really hope they keep it. But sadly, uh, there is a, like, um, tagline or something when you select or when you check out the news. It says it's only available for a limited time. So that makes me think it could only be around for maybe a week or a month, and then they decide to remove it. So I really hope they decide to permanently keep it, because I think having a gifting option in Fortnite is fantastic. Uh, next, PlayStation Plus games for December have been announced, and I believe it's uh, Soma, which is like a horror game. I have that actually kind of creepy, kind of scary survival game. Uh, it's made by the creators of Amnesia, The Dark Descent, and uh, Machine for Pigs. Uh, very, very scary games. If you watch any Let's Players on YouTube, like Markiplier, or any other guys like that, they they did Let's Plays for those games a while ago. Uh, very scary games. Uh, very popular videos, though, if you check them out on YouTube. But Soma is going to be free for PlayStation Plus members next month. I already own it. But the other game that they're going to be adding is On Rush, and On Rush is awesome. This game, uh, I really wanted to get it when it came out. I just didn't get around to it, so I'm really, really happy it's going to be a free game. It's just a really crazy, zany, arcade-style racer. So if you have PlayStation Plus, I highly recommend checking out On Rush next month. It's going to be a free game. And I think I might actually play it on the channel because I'm really curious to try out this game. So yeah, really happy about next month's games. And then next, and this is kind of like the big last piece of news this week because Honestly, there hasn't been a lot of news, just a good amount of, like, big news, but uh, the Game Awards are right around the corner. They're going to happen very soon, so I'm excited to see what games win at the Game Awards. And this week, apparently, there are a lot of rumors about what is going to be shown. So, uh, first, Alien Blackout has been trademarked, and apparently, according to some insiders, this game is going to be revealed and shown at the Game Awards, and Hideo Kojima, known for his work on the Metal Gear series, is apparently involved with this project, so he's involved maybe with the development, maybe his director, who knows, but... Yeah, uh, I think it's going to be like a sequel to Alien Isolation. Uh, that, that was a fun game when it came out. So we don't know anything about this game. All we know is that it's trademarked and that Hideo Kojima could possibly be behind the games like development. And maybe we're going to get a trailer at the Game Awards. So I'm excited for that. Next... Anthem, a big, big upcoming game. Everyone has been excited about Anthem since it was first shown at E3. And apparently Anthem is going to get a new trailer and like an official con confirmed release date for early next year. So if you are an Anthem fan or really, really want to play Anthem, we probably are going to get a new trailer at the Game Awards, according to all of these leak 
leakers that are leaking information, so uh, I really hope that we get a new trailer. Uh, I really liked what we saw last time, the, the whole like mech suit flying through the air, doing like fights with your friends and stuff looked very entertaining. So I'm really curious to get another look at this game, so hopefully we get a trailer. And lastly, uh, apparently over 10 games are going to be announced and shown at the Game Awards. So 10 completely new games that we've never seen before are going to get first like worldwide reveals at the Game Awards. So 10 games, that's actually a lot of games. Now maybe there'll be boring games, you know, that no one's interested in, but the fact that there's going to be 10 game announcements makes me very, very happy. I'm really excited to see what exactly is going to be shown. Uh, in the past, Bayonetta uh, was originally, like Bayonetta 3, uh, was originally shown off for the first time at the Game Awards, and that was really, really awesome, so... I hope that this, you know, for this year they kind of have equally as good announcements, you know, maybe a completely new Resident Evil game, a Silent Hill game would be cool, um, maybe another Uncharted game, honestly, the possibilities are endless, uh, I'm just really curious to see what they're going to announce, so hopefully it's something good, 10 games is a lot though, so, there's going to be at least one game for everyone, so happy about that. And yeah, that's kind of all the news for the week. It's been a slow news week. We had big pieces of news here and there, but uh, this is all the major important stuff. So hopefully next week we have more news, especially regarding Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which should be out by then. So I'm really excited about that, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching or listening to this ASMR gaming news video. Uh, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be sure to have a new ASMR gaming news video out very, very soon. So thanks again for watching, uh, and I will see you all next time. So long.